the end of the part of, of Musaf Shmanesra, of Zechroinos, where we talk about Hashem remembering us, is trying to invoke the memory of the Akedah of Avram Avinu's being prepared to sacrifice his beloved son Yitzchak, go against everything he feels and everything he believes in, only because Hashem said so. And we spoke about that being eternal. And it's in that merit that we ask that Hashem give us a positive judgment. The arcade is still very puzzling. The arcade is still very, very puzzling. There are many questions. Let me start with the most simple of them. Just imagine. You're a prophet. You're a Navi. <laughs> Hashem comes to you. The Creator Himself. And He tells you to do something. And that something is very difficult. But you experience prophecy. You heard Hashem speak. He told you to do something. Would you think twice about it? True! Avraham Avinu was asked to do something difficult. But Hashem asked him to do it. He was a Navi. This was, this was prophetic. It was a prophetic experience. <laughs> Hashem, Hashem appeared to him. Not only that. The Medrash tells us that he was drowning. He was drowning in a sea of, of logic. <laughs> Contemplating, should I do this, should I not? He had to ask Hashem for help. He was drowning in the sea of logic. Why was he drowning? Hashem said so. No. Yes, it's difficult, we respect it, but Avraham Avinu himself had issues. So for this, we have to understand the real meaning of the Akeda and who Avraham Avinu was. Avraham Avinu, the founder of the founder of our religion, I guess. Avraham Avinu was probably the last person on earth that we would have imagined to become the one who discovers Hashem. He grew up in the house of Terach, not only an idolater, not only a pagan himself, but he produced idols. That was his profession. He was the one who manufactured Avod Zara. Avram Avinu starts thinking, and it just doesn't make sense. I am worshiping something I made. Something's not right. Hit other kashas. Basically, how can I serve something finite that created me, that runs the world? It, it just it doesn't work. It itself had a beginning. Where did it come from? Avram Avinu investigated. Nothing made sense. In all of his investigations, he arrived at the truth of the Rabbi Nishalai. We don't in particular have all the details of his philosophical investigations. I'm sure we'd all be curious. But Avram Avinu figured it all out. He figured out all the secrets. He figured out the absolute truth of Hashem through his logic. Avram Avinu was the truth seeker, the truth seeker. And he found it. He found Hashem. Okay. He found truth. And it's great. And then one day, truth itself, Hashem, creator of heaven and earth, appears to him and says, Kachno es binchas yechidcha. He asks for human sacrifice. It's not just that Avraham Avinu stood for loving kindness. It's not just that he loved Yitzchak Avinu. Avraham Avinu found Hashem in his pursuit of truth. 
In his pursuit of truth, he found Hashem, and he found Kol HaTarakula. Avraham Avinu, it says he was Makayim Kol HaTarakula, Nitla, Nitna. He fulfilled all Torah before it was given. He worked it all through. He figured out the truth of everything. As the Ramban points out, the Torah tells us that human sacrifice is an abomination. It's a teva. When the Torah wants to point to how degenerate the nations who lived in Eretz Canaan, how degenerate they were, the Torah uses the example is human sacrifice. So Hashem, whose truth itself is now telling Avram Avinu to do something that goes against MS, that goes against truth. What do you do with that? The Hashem that he discovered through his pursuit of truth is commanding him to do something that goes against truth. Hashem is giving him a choice. It's Hashem or truth. How could there be such a thing? How could there be such a thing? The Ramban more or less speaks this out. To choose between Hashem and truth, we understand why Avram Avinu was drowning in a sea of logic. You know, you and I wouldn't have the kind of problems he did. We're not so, such pursuers of truth, whereby if Hashem told us to do something that we didn't think was right, we, 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 we'd be okay if that's what Hashem told us, we'd listen to it. Avram Avinu! Avram Avinu, he saw Hashem as Emes. <laughs> he discovered Hashem Elohim Emes. This just couldn't be. He was drowning. At the end of the day, he made a choice. He chose Hashem over truth. Wow. That means once I discover Hashem in my pursuit of truth, my relationship with him is greater than the very truth that got me to discover him. Wow. So then Hashem comes along and says, fooled you. There couldn't be such a thing as Hashem telling you to do something that goes against truth. I never meant it. That's what the Ramban really says. I never meant it. But, but this was the test for Avraham Avinu. Choosing the relationship with Hashem over truth, which is what got him to find Hashem. And he understands that Hashem is truth itself. Now, in reality, <laughs> Hashem told him, fooled you, there couldn't be such a thing. There couldn't be such a thing. Hashem is MS. And everything Hashem says is MS. And he will never tell you to do something that is not MS. And if you think he is, you're not understanding him. There was one exception where he fooled Avraham Avinu and presented it as if he was asking to do something that was shaker, that was so not true and so not right. Avraham Avinu made the choice. What did he earn for us? That gave Kal Yisrael a different relationship with Hashem. It means that our relationship with Hashem goes past truth. What we're really asking for is that Hashem remembers that relationship. True, we want to work hard and earn, but we're far from perfect. And if all we get is what we truly deserve, we're in trouble. We remind Hashem that our relationship transcends even truth itself. Avram Avinu's eternal choice of Hashem over truth. That's what we present before Hashem. We're trying our best. We can't live up to your standards. But our relationship goes past truth. Now, you may ask, okay, <laughs> Avram Avinu. Avram Avinu is Avram Avinu. 
I know we believe in schus avos, but but what right do we have to claim a relationship with Hashem that Avram Avinu had? And the answer is that it is built in to the DNA of every single Jew. This has been the sad but beautiful story of Jewish history. Generation after generation, Jews have died al Kiddush Hashem, have suffered al Kiddush Hashem. You know, you speak to Holocaust survivors that, that came out all right, which, which itself is miraculous. And you ask them, where was Hashem during the Holocaust? And they'll tell you, of course He was there. But, but, but it doesn't make sense. And they'll tell you, well, He's bigger than us. We don't have to understand. We don't have to understand. Our relationship transcends truth. Deep down we have confidence Hashem knows what He's doing, don't worry. We don't think that anything that was done to Kali Yisrael was not supposed to happen. We don't believe that it was false. But we're okay without knowing why. We're okay. Our relationship transcends truth. That was established by Avram Avinu when he chose Hashem over truth. And we Jews have carried that with us over all the generations, and it hasn't ended. So on Rosh Hashanah, we bring the Zikaron. We bring the Zikaron before Hashem. We say, remember the relationship. It's not just the MS of what we earned and not one bit more. It's the relationship. When we talk of the Akeda, we can't just think of Avram Avinu. We have to think of all the generations that followed Avram Avinu instilled that in all of us. And we even have to feel it ourselves, that we are prepared to accept whatever Hashem sends our way. And we don't have to know why. Our relationship goes beyond that. Then we can ask that Hashem reciprocate. Then we can ask Hashem. What does it mean? Control your anger. The reality is that there's so much going on in the Jewish people that is really deserving of Hashem's anger. But go beyond that. Kvosh Kassel. Even something that's worthy of anger, that's deserving of anger. No, hold that back. Hold it back. Mi amcha, mi ircha, mi your nation, your city. We are your estate. Hashem, remember us. Remember us in the light of the relationship that goes beyond, beyond what we really earned. Remember us to good. And of course, what that means is bring the ghoulish away from here of Yemen.